If you can't tell, I'm no longer in Germany. I'm currently in Tucson, Arizona. I'm on a nearly 6,000 mile road trip through the US and we're doing this all in about one month. And I just wanted to share a little bit about the camera gear that I'm bringing on this trip. So it's a one month trip, 6,000 miles through all different climates. We've been through a blizzard. We're in the desert now. We've been everywhere you could be pretty much. And so I needed, I needed all kinds of different gear, but I also like to travel light. So I just want to share what I'm bringing on this trip. So this is all of my photo gear in here. It's not always in my backpack. It's often spread throughout this bag and my duffel bag that I bring with all my clothes in it. But to make this video easy, I've got it all in here. So first things first is this Rode microphone. It's a lavalier mic which I'm wearing right now. I've got two of these in case I do a video with somebody else. And this is the Rode Wireless Go 2. And I've got one set of these, which is two microphones, hence the two lavalier mics. So I always have those for good audio in my videos. This is one of the most important things, my 300 F4 lens from Olympus. I've made a video about this, so you can check that out if you haven't already. I've got two straps actually, and I just, a rocket blower rolled out of my bag there. <laughs> so this is the rocket blower, which I think is always a necessity in photography. And this is a black rapid strap, which I've also made a video about, and I use this to carry my long lens. And then I've got this strap as well, which is a peak design strap. And I use this when I carry around my short lens. So that's why I have two straps. What else do we have here? I brought this uh, Joby Gorillapod just in case I needed to film something on a small surface, like if I wanted to put my camera up on this ledge here. But I haven't actually used it thus far, and I probably wouldn't bring it again. There's that. And this is a sack full of random goodies that I'll get to. Also, the backpack here is a Peak Design backpack. It's the 30 liter. I've had this bag for uh, about three and a half years now, so it's still going strong. No reason to replace it, it's pretty great. Here is my uh, Lee filter set. This is just all my filters, uh, hard grad or soft grad ND and a little stopper, I believe it is ND in here that I use whenever I do landscape photography, which is not very often. And this is the Osmo uh, gimbal for a phone. It's the Osmo 3, I believe it is. And this is when I need to do like B-roll shots and I only have my phone or I'm using my camera like in this situation. Uh, then I can use this for, for my little B-roll or even A-roll sometimes. And here are Valorette winter gloves. So these are Valorette's photography gloves. The finger kind of folds down so you can stick your finger right out of it. It's good for photography. And I brought these because like I said, we were in a blizzard just a couple weeks ago, not even a couple weeks ago, like a week ago. It's pretty crazy. It's, I don't know, 90 degrees here today. And the ground is sand. And not very long ago, we were in a snow covered blizzard with antelope running around, which is pretty cool. I think that's it. And so then I'll get to my bag of goodies here. In here I've got this little SD card holder from Pelican. It's really good to have. You run out of space on your SD card. I've got a battery charger. Um, actually, I didn't open the pocket here. Things that I have in here are four extra batteries plus the one that's in my camera. So five batteries total. I, you can never have enough batteries in my opinion, so I always have those. And one thing I do is I label them. So this one's got a one on it, then there's two, three, four, five. And that way I know which ones are charged at all times. So basically if I pull a one out of my camera, I always put the two in next. That way I know that I've already charged the two and it lets me cycle my battery so I'm not using the same ones over and over again. So then again, the charger, 
uh, microfiber cloth, of course. This is just little goodies like a microfiber cloth, a shower cap, stuff like that. I think I have a sensor cleaner in there as well. These are Nikon lens wipes, which I love. They're really good. They're like wet wipes, so they're really good at wiping all the dust and everything off your camera. This is another little table tripod, which is another reason I shouldn't have brought the Joby. This one just folds out. It doesn't really change height very well because it'll get weighed down, but you can just put this on a little ledge like this and get a photo or video if you need to. I have my two camera uh, adapters that allow me to put the leaf filters onto my lenses, my two lenses. An L bracket, which of course is great in landscape photography. And the reason I don't keep that on my camera all the time is because I'm usually doing wildlife. And with the L bracket, it makes it hard to get things into the side of my camera like the SD card or take out the battery. This is an ethernet adapter for my computer. So I just had that stuck in there. Another shower cap, some lens wipes, and this is a tripod collar thing. So I can put my camera on my tripod and I just put a little uh, Arca Swiss plate on the bottom of this. And that way I can put my camera right on the tripod if I need to get some shots of me taking photos since I only have the one camera. And that's it. So yeah, I try to travel pretty light. I think maybe it's not light to you. I don't know. Let me know. But uh, I think it's pretty light compared to a lot of people I've seen. And, you know, I had to take all this stuff from Europe on the plane. So I couldn't carry tons of weight or anything like that. And I didn't want to be hauling around giant bags, even though we have the car now. We didn't for a while. So that's it and it's served me well honestly there's things that i could get rid of rather than add i think and one other thing is my of course camera which is the omd em1 mark iii from olympus um, that's recording me right now and i have the 12 to 40 olympus pro lens on there which is a great uh, medium range short to medium range lens that I really love for both landscape and just walking around doing travel photography. And the tripod it's sitting on has a really right stuff ball head on it. That's the BH55 ball head. That is just because I had it from my old lens that was very heavy, but the BH55 is overkill for the current setup I have. So I might be replacing it. It's just really bulky and heavy. Again, great for a 300 2.8 but not so great for a Olympus 300 F4. It's just overkill. And the tripod I have it on is just a pretty shitty old tripod that I've had for a very long time. And I'm also looking to replace that at some point with a lighter weight, smaller tripod that packs down better because I travel a lot. So now that's really it. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you got something out of it. Let me know if there's anything else you want me to talk about for the, about this trip or the gear or whatever in the comments below. And have a great rest of your day.